Hey guys. So I just want to teach you some tips and tricks that I have learned from makeup artist Stoy about how to wear eye makeup without looking like you're wearing eye makeup to accentuate your features. It is far too often that I see women out there with poor eye makeup that kind of just diminishes the features that they have and doesn't enhance their natural beauty. So with these few tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how I like to do my eyes. Number one, start with a clean eyelash curler. Very important that it's clean. I'm using you as a mirror here today as I don't have one in front of me. And you squeeze at the root and then gently come up the lash and that helps it from being just a one curved thing. Wow, you can already see the difference of how much more alert and awake this eye looks. Uh, I have been a victim of your eyelashes breaking off and the number one thing for that is clean all the reminiscence of any mascara or makeup off this. So once that's done, I'll use an eyeliner. Uh, I'm gonna use brown today. This is the Hourglass um, eyeliner. It's a mechanical gel eyeliner in brown and canyon. Um, the Marc Jacobs black one's fabulous too. Um, I just like using brown for more of an everyday look because it's a little less severe. But depending on the color of your eyes or what you're doing, you know, feel free. Make sure the pencil, if it is a pencil, is super sharp. Otherwise, these ones are great because they just glide on really easily. So the trick with placement of the eyeliner is if you put your eyeliner here too thick, it will close your eye in and make it look smaller. If you focus on the outer corner, it will elongate your eye. And if you focus on the pulling it up, it will make your eye more feline. So for me, you're, everyone has to look at their eye shapes a little differently. Some people can handle more on the lid. Some people shouldn't, don't need to be more feline. Um, but for me, I like to focus on this outer corner here and give it a slight pull up. You'll notice I am not going that far off my eye. Some people say not to pull, but it kind of helps me get the right angle. And you don't need to be too precise about this because it's really so close to your eye here. I should have warmed this up actually. That is it's very cold today. So that is a, a good trick is warm up the eyeliner first on the back of your hand. Um, you can then sharpen the point with a little Q-tip or, or just your finger like this. So you can be super rough. Now I'm gonna go on the inside of my eyelid it's not going to be pretty. So you're lining the top of that eye. This will make your eyelashes look. See, probably wasn't pretty. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, this will really thicken the root of your eyelashes. See the difference in how kind of smoldery um, this eye looks compared to this one. But it's still got that lift out. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit on this inner corner. So this lining the top here will just all elongate your eye even further. So come here. And you can even put a tiny bit in here, but that will make it look a little bit more like you're wearing makeup. So now my eye looks more defined. I'm just going to blend it in. You can use your finger or a little brush. This is a good, good kind of flat one, something like that. Or just a really small dome. And just blend that all into the lash line. Just helps to soften any lines. It doesn't need to be a perfect art. But that is the general just of getting the eye shape right. Notice how thin the line is here. 
You can't even see it when I shut my eye. It's mostly all in that upper rim. Um, next, I'm just going to use mascara. It's really as simple as that. I have the L'Oreal False Lash Telescopic Mascara. I also love the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Chanel do amazing mascaras. So, pick the mascara and focus on those outer corners once again. I have quite round eyes, so I don't love putting mascara on my lower lashes. So to look at your eye shape and see what you're feeling like, if you put that on your lower lashes, I will show you now, it will just make your eye shape look rounder. It's just not necessarily a bad thing either. It's all just personal preference. If you are one of those people that tend to get mascara underneath their eye whilst they're doing makeup, grab a little tiny piece of tissue, put it under your eye, and go like that into the tissue, and that will just pick up any leftover residue. Um, that is basically how you're meant to do an eyeliner. If you were to do a little bit of shadow in there, I would use a kind of brownie taupey eyeshadow. This one by MAC is quite good. I think this is called Cork. Um, use like a little domey, blendy brush. And that is where I will focus the color. This brush is almost too big. See how it's not a pinpointed position, but it will help just blend in a little bit of that color. And I find doing a little bit of a contour or brown eyeshadow especially in the mornings when i've just woken up really helps get rid of my puffy eyes um it creates an illusion of a little bit more shape when this bit is too puffy so when i am doing eye makeup i do a tiny bit on the upper lid middle lid and blend that out so it's raw focus on the outer corner lifted slightly up doesn't need to be too severe and it doesn't need to be too pulled out. And if I'm doing shadow, and this goes for if you're doing a really smoky eye too, I will focus it in this crease line. So in there and along the line. And that is the trick of how to do makeup. See the difference in the eyes? Thanks guys.